Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and there's been a major change in the Las Vegas shooting story. This is, oh, this is a bunch of BS. What we're being told, obviously, so. Uh, but now they're saying that the security guard that this moron shot in the leg was shot before the massacre, not after. The gunman who attacked the country music concert in Las Vegas shot a security guard in the hotel before beginning his assault on the concert doors. Clark County Sheriff Joe Lombardo said Monday, significant change in the timeline of the massacre that officials previously given to the public. Yeah, I'll say it's significant. Officials have previously said that the gunman Stephen Paddock, 64, was Nevada shot Mandalay Bay security guard Jesus Campos after Paddock had started shooting at the Route 91 Harvest Country Music Festival from his 32nd floor hotel suite on October 1. Officials had previously credited that Campos was shot in the leg for stopping a 10-minute assault by turning the government's attention to the Hotel hallway where campus was checking an alert for an open door in another guest's room. <coughs> but officials said Monday that Panic shot Campos before his mass shooting. Now they don't know why he stopped his attack. Now the next line the next line is gonna show you right to the phone. Because This is amazing that they've admitted this and said this. Police officers who rushed to the hotel room when the shooting began. Repeat. Police officers who rushed to the hotel room when the shooting began didn't know a hotel security guard had been shot until they met him in the hallway after exiting the el elevator, Lombardo said. Now, how do you like that? The cops went to his hotel room when the shooting began. That's according to this article. Uh, this thing's monstrous. I have no words. This whole thing's monstrous. I thought right from the start, I looked. I heard the news reports and something was bothering me right from the start. I mean, within minutes. But now, the whole story's falling apart, folks. This is huge. This is... The whole official story is BS. Total, utter, utter nonsense. I don't... You know, I'm sure that this guy was shooting at people. I'm not arguing that. Unbelievable. But I don't think he acted alone. No way. Now here's part two to this. I got some numbers, which I believe to be reasonably accurate, off uh, somebody's video on the internet. And... This is going to surprise you how much off this guy would have been when he started shooting if I believed an official story, which I don't. 1,100 feet straight line distance from the shooter to the ground, to the concert venue. 300 feet height. So he's 300 feet off. Given those numbers, what we can do is we can calculate about how far the bullets would have dropped. Hang on for that. The bullet speed would have been about 3,000 feet per second. I found different uh, numbers on that. And since straight line distance is 1,100, we can calculate the amount of time it would have taken. 
so 1100 divided by 3000. All these numbers are approximations. They don't have to be exactly accurate. That's not what I'm looking for. So we get 0.366 repeating seconds. Alright. So we're going to plug that into our formula, which is A equals A is the acceleration. In this case we know what the acceleration is, is 32 feet per second, so that's acceleration due to gravity. And what we're trying to calculate is how far the bullets drop. So we're going to multiply 32 feet per second. We're going to multiply 32 feet per second times the uh, amount of time that it took squared. In other words, we're going to multiply time raised to the power of 2, or squared, time squared, times acceleration due to gravity. So we're going to square that number that I just gave you, and then multiply it by 32. And the answer is, well, the bullets would have fallen about 4 feet. Um, where he was, if I believe this cockamamie story, they would have fallen about four feet from where he was until they got to the concert venue. Remember, this guy wasn't using any scopes. That's huge, because the bullets would have been uh, falling four feet away from four feet beneath anywhere that he was aiming. Uh, you getting picture yet? And given that this distance, what, a fifth of a mile? Our uh, people look mighty small. That's number two. So, there you have a major discrepancy. I gotta uh, give my train of thought, so I'm put this on hold. Now, the analogy I'm going to use, I don't want people to think I'm comparing people to birds. Please don't understand. Please try to understand, not comparing people to birds. But experienced hunter, bird hunters know that you don't try to flock shoot a bunch of birds with a shotgun. The reason is you're unlikely to hit anything. You see a flock and you just fire at it um, randomly, hoping to randomly hit a bird. That's not the way you do it. You pick out one bird in the flock and you fire at the bird. Even with a shotgun, it's not easy. I took a crow out of there in one time. I fired at a couple of geese has fallen mist. It's not easy. And we're being expected to believe that this guy was able to shoot all these people the way he did. We're not talking about just 58, 59 people depending on the source. If he died, we're talking over 400 that were hit. Uh, not quite likely. Not from that vantage point and not from that distance. Now would a 223 round have enough energy to kill somebody from that distance? Oh yeah. That's not in question. But the point here is, you be, if you believe this story, you're being duped. Do I believe he was up there shooting? Yeah. <laughs> Do I believe there are other people involved? Absolutely. And other shooters too. This one's huge. We're, we're being given a line of BS, and this is the point. You know, and four feet... Four feet doesn't even translate into... Uh, four feet on the ground, 
because you have an angle to consider. I've calculated the angle based on numbers. I used uh, cosine. I've calculated the angle to be about 74 degrees or so, 74, 75. So you have to factor in not just how much the bowl is dropping, but how much four feet actually translates into. The point here is, if this guy is actually aiming at people, the bolts would have hit well in front of them if he's aiming at them. No, I, yeah, I don't think so. So on the one hand, we were given a line about that security guard being shot and like him heroically stopping this dirt bank. And then that turns out to be a lie. And we also have this problem that this wouldn't have been terribly feasible from a shooting standpoint. Once again, don't think that I'm comparing birds to humans or humans to birds. I'm only discussing what bird hunter know bird hunters know that you don't flat shoot some flat shoot birds because it's ineffective. And that's where the shotgun that fires lots of little pellets all at once. A rifle doesn't do that. A rifle fires one projectile. <laughs> This whole story is absurd, folks. Ridiculous and absurd. I'm sorry. I can't deal. <laughs> but there you have it. Uh, his aim would have been basically useless. And we have a continually changing story. This is all bull BS, and this thing about bump stocks, that's utterly absurd. I'm Artifacts of Mars, thanks for watching.